Church Kids Show. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Church Kids Show. I'm Charles Good. And I'm Tracy Finder. Man, it's so good to be here, and it has been so fun talking all about good things with all of you for the last five weeks. It sure has. And to be honest, I didn't realize there were so many good things in the world until we started talking about it. For example, uh, my dog is good. Uh, my pet fish, Tortilla Jackson Jr., is good. My sisters, my friend, the color blue. <laughs> and also, my game, Mario Kart. I what? What is? What is that? This what, is. I got Mario Kart in, in here. What is in that case? A switch. I, I don't. I don't know what that is. Here, take this. I love Mario Kart, so. Yeah, take this. Wait, what? <laughs> Are this you is how it works. Yes, this is how it works. This is tiny. You're gonna follow us on this journey, church kids. Okay. <laughs> This yes. is the smallest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, you only need like three buttons. I don't understand, how, which way do you do it? This way or this way? Great. You're, you're, it's upside down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it goes on this one. Does anyone have a Wii we can borrow? No! Do I get to choose my character? Oh yeah, you get to choose your character, okay. your cart. Can we scoot this everything. back? Oh, what did I just yeah, yeah. do? Yeah, no, you're fine. Mario Kart! Hey! It's a me, a Mario. These are really small. What it? Okay. I'm, don't worry. I will. Are you gonna explain to me how the, the, which buttons work? Okay, now you gotta pick your character. I am going to be. Everything's so small Tanuki. on this. Tanuki. I want. Where's the princess girl? Is this her? There's which which, which princess? Isn't there girl? like a princess Peach or something? Peach, okay, there's whatever. baby Peach. I'll be cat Peach. What do I do now? <laughs> yep. Okay. It just meowed at her. I want the fastest one. I think I want a motorcycle. What is that? Is Dune buggy? Oh, you! Wow, there's you pick tires way and... too many options over here. <laughs> okay, I don't want an umbrella. That's why would I want any of this? Are these helpful in some way? <laughs> I like this music. The problem is, I'm gonna want one of these after this. All right, who's gonna win? Charles Definitely good not me. Or Tracy? We will find out. I feel like you're hiding something. <laughs> Literally never played this game. Okay, you ready? Does it split the screen or are yes. we just using? Okay, I'm on that okay. side and you're on that side. <gasps> what? That's confusing. <laughs> it's opposite sides of where we're sitting. Yep. <laughs> hey, you're winning so far. Okay, okay, okay. I got one of those QB uh, things. We're going around. Okay, people. I'm going to get these boosters, right? That's what they do. Wait, what? The rope. <gasps> I'm underwater. I'm underwater. Wait, how did you get in front of me? I've been doing really good. Here, come over here. Well, it'll be okay. Don't worry. What the? <laughs> what just happened? Here we go. Here we go. I'm getting a cube. What is it gonna be? I want the rocket ship. You're I just keep fly. getting bananas and that's, oh. Oh no. Oh, how do I keep flying? Is there a way to keep yourself flying through this whole game? How are you so far ahead of me? I don't understand. Because I should have been faster I should not have listened to you. Tanuki, okay. go. Boom. But how are you so much faster than me? I think I just threw something. What is going on? Yeah, you're not too far behind. Dun, you're pretty dun, close. Dun, dun, dun. You might be able to see me soon. I haven't messed up one time, so I don't understand why I'm... Oh, because you did that thing to me. What thing? What did I... Oh, no. That when you threw that thing that made me flip over. A banana? I literally flipped over. And here it comes. Ah! Yeah! No! How did you already win? I'm not even close. You were close. You were close. Oh, see? wait. I was close. You just, you just finished. <laughs> no! No! Oh my goodness! Yeah. That was actually really fun, and I want one of these. How do you get one of these things? <laughs> if anyone wants to donate a Nintendo Switch to me, my email address is please give me a Nintendo Switch at gmail.com. All right, everyone. Well, we are going to continue learning about good things. <laughs> Charles, you know what's good? Hmm. Food. Let's check in with Chef Jeremiah to see what we have cooking today. Yes. Hello, church kids, and welcome to the cooking time with... It's me, Chef Jeremiah. And I'm your host, Ray. I heard you make the best sandwiches on these sides of the mountains. You bet. When I was in Florida, everybody wanted a piece of my sandwich. But that doesn't matter today because we won't be using your recipe. Wait, what? That's right. The church kids have submitted step-by-step -step instructions that you will be following. Well, okay, but I'm pretty hungry, so I hope they know what they're doing. 
Well, I'm not no ratatouille, but I think they did pretty good. Okay. So how about we jump into it, but you must do exactly everything they tell you to do. To start, we have Renee, and she's six years old, and she says to make a sandwich, we need two breads. Okay. Yeah, two breads. Gotcha. And Nutella. Okay. And scoop it. Scoop the Nutella? Yeah, scoop the Nutella. Okay. And spread it. Yes. And that's all. Wait. Wow. Put some on the top oh, okay. and eat it. Put some on the top and eat it? Yeah, you gotta try to take a bite, I guess. Eat it off the top and... Mmm. That's a good sandwich. Okay, that didn't work out quite for you. Hopefully Natalie can help. She's eight years old and she says, get a plate, get two breads, and a butter knife. Gotcha. Get Nutella. Okay. And spread the Nutella on both breads. All right. Make sure to put a lot. Then put the breads together and enjoy it with some berries. Breads together. Enjoy it with some berries. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. So delicious. Frankie is five years old and he says, I don't know anymore. Um, maybe bread? Yeah, two breads. And the mayonnaise. Then the knife and the meat. Then you put everything on the bread. Then cut it up and then cross and eat it up. Um, so just take a bite out of that. I don't know. Well, knives aren't edible, Frankie. Next up, Micah says, first, you put the bread on the plate. Okay. And then spread the mayo on the bread. Okay. You then add cheese. Right. Then you go on to your next piece of bread. Okay. You add your mayo. And then you add your meat. All and right. that's it. Ah. Oh, you double it. Okay. You put it on there. All right. And you have a nice bag of chips. Okay. And water to stay hydrated. All right. Make sure it's really hydrated. Mm -hmm. Very hydrated. Water is very important. Yes. Mm -hmm. H2O. Our next church kid is August, and he's three years old. Okay. He says, first you put rice. Okay. Then meat. Okay. And then oranges. Oranges? Oranges. Yeah, oranges. Okay. That it? Go for it, take a bite. This one looks delicioso. You know what? Let me get a bite. It's good. Oh, you're making a mess. It's crunchy. Next, we have Aubrey, and she's five years old. She says, you put bread with cheese. And pickles. Ooh. And a topping. A topping? Oh. Mm, yep, a topping. Okay, I think I think this will work. That's yeah, a nice top. Wow. For grandma used to make tops. It's a beautiful. Let's see what Isaiah has to say. Okay. He says, um, put um you should just put cheese. That's all. Um, Those are his words. You got it. No, you're doing it wrong. You gotta. Give me one second, one second. And. Bon appetit. Today, Church Kids Spotlight for the most creative sandwich recipe goes to August, repping our Tacoma campus. Way to go, August. Way to be creative. And that's all the time we have today. In the meantime, Church Kids, may I suggest you use this quarantine time to Google the proper way to make a sandwich? Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. I never had a sandwich with rice and peanut butter. Back to you, a Charles and a Tracy. Wow, what a way to fashion a good old sandwich. <laughs> sure is. But you know what sandwiches do to me? What? They make me really 
thirsty. Oh, uh. I not anymore. Wow, um, speaking of thirsty, I believe there are some very parched characters in our story time. Mm. Let's take a look. Moses and the Israelites, who we talked about last episode, were in the wilderness. The Israelites had run out of water and were getting very thirsty. I'm thirsty. thirsty. I'm, it's oh, so it's dry. Water. It's so hot. And, yeah. and you get it. Man. Where I'm, is it? I'm hungry. I want to use skateboard. Gosh, like I'm so thirsty. Like if you ask me how thirsty I was, you know what I'd say? Um, what? Like really thirsty. Wow, that's uh really thirsty. Yeah, like why did you bring us out here? I'm sweating. You're sweating. My cow's sweating. And. Pfft, even my kangaroo is sweating. Why did you bring us out of Egypt if we're just gonna end up here? Why did I bring you out of out of Egypt where you were sla- uh, Okay, you, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna go talk with God and see what to do. Moses and his brother Aaron then went to God in prayer. Can can you believe them? They're thirsty, so they want to go back to being slaves. Those ungrateful little- Moses, I've heard their complaints. Go with your brother and gather a lot of people. Then, I want you to tell the giant rock to open. It will pour out water for the people and their animals to drink. Trust me, and do as I ask. Uh, uh okay. Okay, fine. Come on, Aaron. So Moses gathered the people as God asked, but as he approached the rock, he grew angry, thinking about all the complaints the people had been saying. Get over here, rock. That's the wrong rock. Yeah, the wrong rock. Gosh, didn't tell me it wasn't Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Listen up, you little whiners. Do we have to get water out of this rock to make you happy? Huh? 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 Oh, you know what? Speak <laughs> to the rock. Speak to the water rock. Jeez. I told you to. Speak to the rock. I know. Moses, you will still continue to lead my people, and I will provide for them. But because you have not listened to me, and failed to trust that I have good things for you in the future, I cannot allow you to enter the land I have promised to Israel. Ugh, I get it. Okay. Come on, Aaron. As God said, Moses would not enter the promised land. You see, it's pretty easy to see good things when everything seems to be really, well, good. But it's more difficult when things are a bit messy. This is where trust comes in. It is important to trust that God still has good things for us even when things seem messy and are not going our way. Just because you don't see a good thing at the moment, it doesn't mean that God isn't creating a good thing for you. The Israelites did get to enter the land that God promised to them one day. But unfortunately, without Moses, because of his little, well, you know, temper tantrum. That was such a great story. It has been so fun learning about good things these last five weeks, and I can't wait to see what we have coming up next on the show. Me too. Charles, it's time for Rapid Recap. Sweet. So for today, God has good things for us, even when things are a little bit messy. Awesome. Church kids, thank you so much for tuning in this week to The Church Kid Show. We will see you next week. But don't forget, it's a great day to, to be, be a church, church kid! kid! Oh!